Question number five, what is the ruling for a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to the recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It is the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has obligated on the slaves who are able to rationalize, who are of sound mind and are able to deduce or infer the recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Question number six, how do we recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What methods or ways do we recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The way we recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by using the rational faculties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and innately put inside of us, if we're of sound mind, then by using the manifest proofs that Allah sent through the Sharia, not by the invention of our own minds, but by the Sharia that has been sent and reflecting upon them, looking at the manifest evidence and the overwhelming proof. And then we reflect on these signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us within ourselves and in the heavens and the earth. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has said after Audhu Billah Minash Shaitan Rajeem قُلْ انظُرُوا مَاذَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا تُغْنِ الْآيَاتُ وَالنُّذُرُ عَنْ قَوْمِ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Say O Prophet, consider all that is in the heavens and in the earth. So all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. Yet neither signs nor warners are of any benefit to those who refuse to believe. Right? And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says أَوَلَمْ يَتَفَكَّرُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ مَا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضُ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ So have they not reflected upon their own being? Allah only created the heavens and the earth and everything in between for a purpose. So these verses, they tell you something. They tell us that we have to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to recognize the first obligation. We have been given rational faculties, the faculties to infer. And when we focus on the Sharia, which Allah has sent, that we have to firstly engage with the Sharia, engage with the Prophet, accept. What do we get? We get the recognition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We get to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, through the sharia, through the revelation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expects us that we engage uh, with it, that we accept it as an obligation upon us. <laughs>